Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? I'm in my bathroom, that's why it's kind of echoey. And y'all, I'm gonna do something with the lighting or something, cause it just don't feel like it's enough light in here. Um, cause it's a little dark, isn't it? It's, it's not dark, but I don't know, cause you can't even really see every detail of everything. So I may have to buy some more tabletop lights since I um, trash most of those, like a I think I trashed that stuff two years ago. I had tabletop lights. Actually, I had a ring light that I threw away when we moved here. Girl, anyway, y'all know how this is. This is a chit chat video. Um, we're gonna talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on TV, what I'm watching on YouTube, all of that. Girl, I got a long list of polluted here. Anyway, let's talk about what's going on in my personal life and let's get started on this hair girl. Um, I haven't detangled my hair properly in like months. I'm gonna be honest months months girls speak english hell so what i've been doing is being lazy and so i wash my hair i put the conditioner on and i'm like you see this this is why i need to detangle yeah this, this yeah that <laughs> so that's what i'm doing i'm doing this and then i'll just do the top I ain't going nowhere in here nowhere in here none of that's being detangled so um I don't even want to do that y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll do something with my hair while we're talking. I don't even want to detangle my hair because Miss Arlette is coming back from Canada. She was on um, break. Actually she was working up there and she said she'll do my hair when she comes back. I'm like yes. And she takes her time y'all. Like I am there when she does my hair we're talking about four or five hours minimum. But look at my hair girl. Yes. We're getting length. So okay. Um, our house is under contract right now. Praise God, you guys. So we go over there, I go over there almost every day just to check things are okay, make sure, you know, because when we were having the house was actively being shown, the real estate agent was forgetting whoever was the buyer's real estate agent, they were forgetting to lock the house up. Like, I, oh, you got your name on, so I have to go back, lock the doors, well, first of all, shut down all the blinds lock the doors make sure everything's okay so that's what i've been doing just going back and forth between the house and the apartment doing that every day i have to do i've been doing that every day for two weeks now because my husband is at work he's not here he doesn't even get off till 11. so i go there before it gets dark i'm scared as hell so um going through that um Chick-fil-A, girl, I put, you greedy as hell. I put a note here, and I'm gonna get to me trying to lose weight. We gonna get to that shit in a minute. I put a note here, Chick-fil-A Chick red status. Cause apparently, I was checking my junk, junk email, and now I, I'm a, I apparently have made like platinum, you know, level. Cause I ordered so much damn chicken from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> girl, it's just greedy. So, but I have started back working out. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to the gym today, but the good thing is that our gym is 24 seven. It is a beautiful gym. When I tell you the gym here is very nice. Not a lot of people, they have weight resistance, they have um, free weights, they have machines, they have dumbbells, they have a Stairmaster, um, they have a spin room. Um, yeah, they they have really put in the money. So let me tell you guys how I feel about apartment living. And frankly, my husband and I are very surprised. We don't mind it. We don't mind it to the point to where we're going to take, now that our house is under contract, and more than likely, God, please let this buyer, they um, did the, what do you call it, the appraisal, no, inspection, and then the appraisal will happen next week. But hopefully this will go through, okay? And we'll, we won't have to put it back on there. But even if it does, even if it has to go back, it will sell fairly fast. But my point is, is that we're comfortable here in apartments because it's fairly quiet. We don't have anyone that lives above us. I know that's gonna change here per, fairly soon because they've been getting it ready. So somebody maybe, I'm gonna have to go down and talk to Viani and Tawana and be like, hey girl, uh, <laughs> Those are the leasing agents. I'm gonna be like, um, who's moving up above us? Like, I need to know. But yeah, it's very quiet here. Like I said, the workout room is nice. They have a nice apartment. Everyone who works here is nice. And girl, the icing on the cake is that they have monthly, monthly gatherings for the community. So, 
two days ago they had a happy hour and i'm thinking okay they're gonna have like you get a um what do you say like you get a glass of wine girl no no they had hard liquor, they had vodka, tequila, gin. They had everything you could think of. They had a bartender and then they had wine. And it was all free, you just tip her. And I was like, hold up, the honey. And then they had snacks and stuff. So that was really nice. Um, and it lasted for like three hours and everyone was, they had opened up the area. This was in the community area. And I have to take y'all down there with me so y'all can see what it looks like. It's really nice. Um, they have uh, free coffee that you can get. Um, it's a really big community room. I told JB every now and then if he wants to. And actually when we were doing homework and stuff, we would go down to the community room and he would do his homework. And then they have like a little old school arcade game. So yeah, I mean, this is a, this is technically a luxury apartment. So that's just one of the um, perks, um, incentives is that, yeah, they offer that. Um, and every now and then they will have a food truck or ice cream truck for the entire community. So yes, very nice, very nice. So we are taking our time and looking for our house because the inventory in Forney, Texas is very slow. Also, we are going to have to decrease um, the amount we are wanting to spend on the house because we want to make sure that we have enough in savings because yeah we just need to make sure that you know we're able to cover everything and just have enough in savings um my husband's very smart about that because clearly I'm not, I'm not y'all I have to get my credit together I don't know what the heck happened my credit score went up 20 points like two or three months ago I got a notification earlier this week that it's down and I think it's because one of my credit cards went over the limit I forgot to pay it so it charged me first of all it charged me the interest rate for me spending money I forgot to pay it so it charged me a late fee or oh, forget, forget the hell what you thinking fee well, I don't know what type of fee and so I was so upset but it is what it is it's something that you can work on right as far as your credit so if my credit now is not so my goal is to minimize credit card usage, especially since I'm going to be having a baby mortgage next year. This is like next year, child. Um, once we get settled in Texas, I think I want to go ahead and become a notary. Okay, get that because they can make between thirteen to eighteen dollars an hour, depending on what it is. So I definitely, I think I want to do that. Um, a part of me was kind of, sort of thinking about selling press on nails when I get there. Um, but definitely the notary, but there's another thing I, there's something else I know I'm going to want to do because I'm, I'm a busy person. I, I, I can do it. You know what I mean? I'm like, I can do it. Um, so, um, my mom sells baked goods. I was thinking, you know, maybe I can help her during the holidays and stuff and find something that I like, but sure, I, I would be eating all that shit. So I don't want to do it. But something, I want to do something and I want to do something that's creative. And so a part of me is kind of leaning towards the press on nail business, you know, making, cause that's something I like to do, you know, and my sister can help me with that as far as advice cause she's a nail technician. So yeah, just looking for other ways to ensure that we're saving as much as possible. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I said, apartment living is going great. And so let's talk about JB. JB is absolutely loving this school, you guys. Micro schools is something that's been around for a while, but the um, development of them have has heightened due to COVID. So they've been popping up a lot in the Valley. A lot of people started homeschooling in general because of COVID. So yeah, so JB is doing good, but the only thing now, see, JB was popular in his old school. And that was primarily because we jumped around, not necessarily jumped around, but we had been to two preschools before we went to this public school that's actually right across the street. So he knew a lot of the kids. He always knew at least two kids in each classroom. So he was pretty popular with the kids. Um, but here he's the new kid and Jake is a little quiet. And so every day, you guys, every day, I mean, he's, I've been praying over him and just trying to get him to be a little bit more open because he's quiet. He's actually is an introvert. You know, he has that bubbly personality like me, but he's an introvert like me too. Um, so he, uh, he said the other day he was playing with some other kids outside and I'm like, how was the baby outside here at the apartment complex? And he's like, I just wish 
Hey, sick, I just wish that I could, I'm gonna start crying. Cause Jamie's different, y'all can see that, you know. And those of you who've been following for, for a while, you know, he has an old soul. He follows us on Instagram. You can see some of his comments he makes. And so he feels sometimes when he meets, and he refers to it as these kids, <sighs> these kids nowadays, that's his favorite line, I'm telling you. He's disappointed. And so I always try to tell him, I'm like, JB, you are different. There's nothing wrong with you being different, but you're not gonna find a lot of kids that'll like you, or maybe you will, and that'll be it for you. So he was playing with the kids outside, so he came back in a little disappointed. And he's like, I just wish that I could find a kid that's like me, but has the heart of an older person. I'm like, oh baby, he just, I, I just wish I could find someone that has the heart and like the mind of an older person, but is still a kid. I'm like, oh baby, I'm so sorry. Y'all, I'm starting to tear up now. He just wants someone, because he mentioned that one of the kids was cursing and he didn't like that, because he finds that disrespectful. He said, mama, one of the kids was crying, was cursing, and I could tell these kids look at a lot of TikTok and YouTube and I just wanna play. He just wants to play. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't wanna TikTok. He doesn't wanna do anything. There's a time and place for that, you see? So, um, same thing with school. He's like, I haven't made any friends. I'm like, well, baby, you've only been there for two weeks. So I did kind of mention to the teacher and the teacher said he is very quiet. So maybe I'll budge him every now and then to say something um, because I said, what are you doing? He said, I play by myself on a playground. He said, but that's okay, I don't mind. Um, he said he sits by himself at lunch or he sits at a table with other girls so no one really talks to him. And so I'm just trying to encourage him to you know, just talk to people and, you know, be yourself. You're gonna make friends eventually. I said, look, a part of me was like, I only have two friends, I don't care. You can't be that, you can't be that with the babies. They wanna have friends, you know, so um, he'll be fine. All right, y'all, that's what's going on in your personal life. Like I said, houses on contract. We are doing the, you know, the apartment living is not too bad. Um, I'm going to start to get back to blogging. It's just that I just am busy doing a lot of stuff. Work is good. Very busy. All right, you guys. So, um, we're going to talk a little bit about YouTube and just what's going on in the world a little bit. It's just a lot going on. Um, I, I understand about that one young lady that was, uh, I guess she was an Instagrammer and a YouTuber. Um, and she had an argument with her, her boyfriend and apparently, well, it hasn't been proven, but they are speculating that he's the one that murdered her because her body was found a couple of days ago. But that also brought into question the thousands of black people, men and women that go missing and we don't know their names. Okay, we know the Lacey Peterson since then. We know, uh, what is it, the Chris Watts wife and her two babies. We know about them. Um, we know about this one girl, Gabby. And they're, all the deaths are absolutely horrible. But what we don't know about are the black and brown people who go missing. So there's a young man here who was a geologist and he went missing up in Buckeye, Arizona. So I believe the people he was with said that he was kind of strange made a comment and burst it out and they haven't seen him that was like in july when it was really hot we're in september right so they went searching for him for two or three days and stopped it his father came down here looking for him and still nothing absolutely absolutely horrifying but this is something i also want to bring up I and mean, we we one thing I do absolutely love about Leia Gordon, she's another YouTuber, she highlights missing um, black women on her channel and I really do appreciate that. And she also um, uh, gives stories on women that have been murdered and it is horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, another group of people that are unspoken of are the indigenous indigenous people, excuse me. And being in Arizona, we have quite a big population here because there's reservations everywhere. There's a lot of Navajo here, Maricopa, but primarily Navajo. When I tell you the number of missing indigenous people in this country is shocking. It is absolutely shocking. So 
when was it? A couple of days ago, a woman went missing, 30 years old, went missing in Las Vegas. She was caught, she tried to FaceTime or call her boyfriend several times, frantic. They haven't heard from her in almost a week. It's been longer than that, two weeks. They haven't heard a peep from her. There are so many that they don't even, they don't even know the exact number, especially when they go missing on the reservation. Oh. So yeah, what's wrong with Wendy, your friend, your homegirl, Wendell, uh, Willie? What's wrong with, no. And no, honestly, I saw a picture of her where she was being wheeled out the hospital in a wheelchair. Child, and she was vaping. I'm like, <laughs> She was vaping, but apparently she tested positive for COVID and she's doing a lot better now. Um, but what is what is her problem? Is she okay? Is she battling? Is it all mental that manifested physically? You know what I mean? Or God, I hope she's okay, but girl, I don't know. Um, child, all of these celebrity deaths, it is a lot, you guys. I feel like 2020. 2021 is like the stepchild of 2020. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing to make myself. Anyway, AJ Johnson, the comedian from, he played the crackhead on, we just watched Friday, the first Friday. So AJ Johnson passed away. What did he pass away, you guys? Was it, was it drugs? Um, one of my favorite, I call him a character actor because he's he's a character um the older gentleman with the scar right down the middle of his face and he played in the wire um michael williams great 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 guy stand-up dude and he did od he he did um i think he was here it was he was shooting up but it was laced with fentanyl it, it was laced with something um and it's cheaper that way i was asking my one girlfriend that used to be on meth <laughs> It's not funny. Again, I'm laughing to make myself not feel so uncomfortable, y'all. It's a nervous laughter. So I do apologize. I'm not being insensitive. So I was asking my one friend, I'm like, why would they buy this? She said, it's cheaper. It's cheaper when you get it like that. But yeah, you could die from it. Just one hit and you could die. I'm like, oh. She's like, I wish they'll stop making it that way. I'm like, okay. Thank you for the info. <laughs> I haven't really watched a lot of YouTube. I'm not really, you know, like I said, I'm not really watching much of anything on youtube i was watching episodes of divorce court i love that the old school judge i love her um the queen of blending y'all know who she is she's latino and she does beautiful she does the exaggerated makeup girl i follow her on instagram apparently let me pull it up y'all let me pull her up so you know who i'm talking about look her up let me let me find her name queen of blending she used to be really popular a couple of years ago so anyway let me go to her instagram and read y'all this story you gotta be really careful who you bank with and this is one of the reasons why i have our savings is in a credit union but baby when we moved to um texas i'm thinking about putting my checking and savings in the credit union so let me pull this up she says do not bank with Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo allowed people to use backdoor encryption, their words, to access my bank accounts online and steal all of my money. All of Malia's money, which is her daughter, I believe, gone. I gave them a week to look into my claim and today I received a letter and spoke to reps on the phone basically saying they would not be getting my money back as it's not eligible. We've lost everything. Not a single dime will be returned. That is absolutely devastating. Girl, Bank of America don't play. I was trying to use my ATM card at the dispensary to get out like some money for my, for my, you know, my edibles. They shut my account down. Cause I tried it three times in a row. They shut my account, they shut it down. But it sounds like what these people did is that it went online and use <clears throat> encryption to get through and take all her money from her checking her all the accounts gone that is so scary and i was reading some of the comments and apparently it's happened to other people at wells fargo our bank we bank through bank of america and chase bank of america is really good they really they really stay on it but that's got me scared to where i'm thinking about going to a credit union because I'm like, or like move all my savings to a credit union and then just have my checking. Like what I'm doing now basically, but just replicate it in Texas. You know what I mean? So that way I can have stuff spread out. But that is very scary. All right, you guys. So yeah, like I said, I'm not really watching a lot of YouTubers. There's not really much. Um, oh, 
So, but speaking of YouTubers, Linda Lynn had her baby. Oh my God, y'all. I am, I don't know what it is. I'm having serious baby fever. My old ass ain't going, I need to be taking all the birth control pills. Linda's baby is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what I'm watching on TV, Blood and Water, I can't sing, girl. Blood and Water Season 2 is back on Netflix. If you haven't watched Season 1, watch it. It's really good, y'all. Blood and Water is South African. Absolutely love it. Surrounding teenage girls, teenagers in general at the school. She kind of, I even forgot what it's about, sort of, because it's been so while, but it has to do with mystery okay and child abduction and all of that so yeah i may have to watch season one again again but i started with episode one season two today actually and so yes can't wait for it um i finished clickbait like i told y'all last time i was not feeling the ending at all it was whack as hell i'm sorry um finished nine perfect strangers same thing let me tell you something my anxiety was so high going up and down up i'm like oh hell what what, what is regina gonna do so i was seriously thinking that somebody was gonna get murdered isn't that how y'all felt those of you who watched the show again it's called nine perfect strangers with nicole kidman fine as luke evans from hulu it's on hulu and so i'm thinking okay somebody gonna get killed I knew, I just knew somebody was going to get killed. I knew somebody was going to get an arm chopped off. I knew that something dramatic was going to happen because it was just that much tension. Girl, nothing. Nothing. We're just going to, you know, are we all going to get high and look at it again? Spoiler, we all just going to get high and look at dead people. A waste of my damn time. Like, seriously, I was, I was a little upset with that. I actually turned it off halfway. When I saw how it was going... I didn't even finish it because I knew where it was going. I'm like, this is whack. Whack, whack, whack. Um, AHS season 10. <laughs> Again, another one of those shows to where, I mean, what is wrong with these writers? Like, what's going on? I was okay with it. I don't know. It went up and down, up into the way I felt about this particular season. Um, but I liked it. Overall, I liked it. I think we're done. We're done with it. I liked the way it ended. I liked the way it was going. Um, so what I have on my list to watch, okay, Intrusion. This is on Netflix, I believe. Intrusion, Dr. Foster again, because I started to watch Dr. Foster, then a bunch of stuff I was watching came up. So I'm going to go back and watch that. The Chair, Only Murders in the Building. And the Wonder Years. Now, apparently, let me tell you something. Snowfall, y'all, I'm not playing. Like, they better not mess with me. They're back to taping. They better not mess with me. He, The way that he did mail at the end of that season, the season finale, when I tell you, I told y'all, I was about to, I was about to inbox that actor. I was so, <laughs> I was heated. I'm like, y'all ass been faking with that damn, that's basically what's a prop within a prop. You been walking around with that cane and that limp and your ass didn't need it. Are you serious? Yeah, but Snowfall is good, you guys. If you haven't catch it, go back and watch it. There are a couple of shows that I absolutely recommend whatever you do. I'm going to name off at least 10. Are you ready? You ready? Okay. Let me see if I can find where they're, where they're at so I can tell you which ones are. I, I like dark stuff. Dark, okay? So, let me go to my Google. I'm going to give you my top 10 recommendations. Dark is on Netflix. Dark is very confusing. German based. You may have to watch it twice. But look at it. It's called Dark. It is on Netflix. Happy Valley. I believe Happy Valley is on Netflix. Um, good Girls. Good Girls is on Netflix and Hulu. It's good. Um, look. The Bridge. The Bridge is on Netflix. Um, Black spot very different french base it's on netflix glitch which is australian um is on netflix uh i believe it's called the rain let me look it up the rain um which is scandinavian danish siblings um swedish but you'll be able to understand it in english on netflix it's called the rain it's good um, 
what did it say? Black spot in her eyes. Netflix. Good. It's good. Creepy as hell. In her eyes. Netflix. What else? What else? What else? Um, sharp objects. When I tell you that sh sharp objects is one of the best I've seen in a while. And I believe that's on HBO. That's on HBO. Sharp objects. Again. Did I? How many is that girl? That's enough hell. Y'all got enough stuff to <laughs> Snowfall, I absolutely recommend. Um, Happy Valley, I already said. There's another one with the woman from The X Files. What is that one called, you guys? And let's see. Um, the Fall. And I believe The Fall is it on Netflix, you guys? I don't know where The Fall is at. You may want to check it. It may be on Netflix. The Fall with um Jillian Anderson and Jamie Doran. I don't think he's that good looking in my opinion. The guy from uh, Grace, you know, what is it? 50 Shades of Getting Born As. He could be eye candy, but whatever. Everyone's blowing up about that movie at the time. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I can tell y'all none of y'all are getting none because y'all really are blowing up about this movie. So anyway, The Fall, great movie. Uh, series, excuse me, series. Um, I personally like Vera. Vera, you can only find on Amazon Prime. Again, murder mystery. Um, Broad Church is another one on Netflix. I have been, uh, it was, that was recommended to me. That was recommended a couple of years ago and I had it on my list. Oh my God, this looks boring. Like the first, the first episode is a little slow, but when I tell you this is up there. Broad Church is up there. It's European based. It's up there with, from the um, UK. It's up there with The Fall and Happy Valley. It has that same type of path. You know what I mean? Twists and turns. So yeah, there's some recommendations, you guys. I'll maybe try to list everything below in the description. If I forget, girl, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> girl, I didn't even detangle my... What did y'all tell me? So look. I'm gonna try to film her. Miss Arlette Pender is coming back. Chow, she was up doing Black Cindy's hair. <laughs> Miss Arlette, the stylist that does my hair, is a celebrity stylist. So she works with celebrities. Like she used to do, um, what is uh, Nas's ex wife, Kelly's. She used to do her hair and she was up in Canada, meaning my stylist was up in Canada all this time, like for like six or seven months doing Adrienne Moore's hair and she's the actress that played Black Cindy in or Orange is the New Black and they're actually friends and so she saw my one of my videos Miss Arlette and she was like when I come back in town I'll do your hair. <laughs> Girls I be cutting my hair all wrong y'all she be, she be sending me messages like don't why are you doing your hair like that because Miss Arlette you not here. Okay that's why so y'all I'm all over the place that is it we gotta go pick up my baby. Oh. I know I'm going all over the place. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.